cancer. It's a word we all know, but it represents a vast and often confusing collection of over 100 different diseases that arise from uncontrolled cell growth. So don't worry, this video is designed to cut through that confusion. We are going to create a clear and detailed map of the major types of cancer, explaining what they are, where they start, and what makes each category unique. By the end of this video, you will have a solid practical understanding of these conditions. Let's get into it. Number one, organ system cancers. This category includes cancers affecting the vital organs that process our food and waste. Let's start with colorectal cancer, which begins in the colon or rectum. These organs form your large intestine. This cancer often starts as a small growth called a polyp. Think of a polyp like a tiny, unwanted weed in a garden. While most are harmless initially, certain types can slowly transform into cancer over several years. This slow progression is why screening tests like colonoscopies are so effective. They allow doctors to find and remove these polyps long before they become a threat. If left to grow, a tumor can block the intestine or spread to other organs, most commonly the liver. Next is pancreatic cancer. The pancreas is a gland tucked deep behind the stomach. Because of its hidden location, it often shows no clear symptoms until the tumor is large enough to press on nearby organs or nerves, causing back pain, jaundice, which is a yellowing of the skin and eyes, or digestive issues. This lack of early warning signs is why it's considered one of the most challenging cancers to treat. Then there is liver cancer. Your liver is a large, resilient organ that acts as the body's main filter. Cancer that starts in the liver is called primary liver cancer. It is often linked to long-term damage. Conditions like chronic hepatitis B or C infection or cirrhosis, which is severe scarring of the liver, create an environment of constant inflammation and cell repair. This rapid turnover of cells increases the chances of a DNA error or mutation that can lead to cancer. Number two, respiratory system cancers. This group primarily involves cancers of the lungs and airways. Lung cancer is the most prominent. It begins when cells in the lungs grow out of control, forming tumors that interfere with breathing. There are two main types. Non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC, is the most common, accounting for about 85% of cases. It generally grows and spreads more slowly. Small cell lung cancer, SCLC, is less common but much more aggressive. It grows quickly and has often spread to other parts of the body by the time it is diagnosed. The chemicals in tobacco smoke are the number one cause, but other risk factors include exposure to radon gas, a naturally occurring radioactive gas that can get trapped in homes, asbestos, and heavy air pollution. Have you ever found that understanding the why behind a health recommendation makes you more likely to follow it? Let us know in the comments. Number three, nervous system cancers. These cancers affect the command center of the body, the brain and the spinal cord. Cancers that originate in the brain are called primary brain tumors. They are unique because they are contained within the rigid, bony skull. As a tumor grows, it increases pressure inside the head. This pressure is what causes the symptoms. For example, a tumor pressing on the occipital lobe at the back of the brain can cause vision problems. A tumor in the frontal lobe can lead to personality changes or difficulty with planning. Even a benign or non-cancerous brain tumor can be life-threatening if it's in a critical location and puts pressure on vital brain tissue. Treatment is a delicate balance, as doctors must try to remove the tumor without damaging the intricate neural networks that control everything we do. Number 4 Blood and Immune System Cancers these are liquid cancers that circulate through the blood, bone marrow, and lymphatic system. Leukemia is a cancer of the body's blood-forming tissues. In leukemia, the bone marrow factory starts producing a massive number of abnormal, immature white blood cells. These faulty cells crowd out the healthy ones. This leads to fatigue, frequent infections, and easy bruising. Lymphoma is a cancer of the lymphatic system. If your circulatory system is the body's highway for blood, the lymphatic system is a network of side roads and checkpoints, lymph nodes, for your immune cells. In lymphoma, abnormal immune cells called lymphocytes start multiplying uncontrollably and collect in these lymph nodes, causing them to swell. The key difference from leukemia is that lymphoma usually starts in the lymph nodes, while leukemia starts in the bone marrow. Multiple myeloma is a cancer of the plasma cells. 
Healthy plasma cells are antibody factories, producing specific proteins that target and fight off germs. In multiple myeloma, these plasma cells become cancerous and create a huge amount of a single useless antibody known as an M protein. This junk protein clogs up the system and, more importantly, the cancerous cells damage the bones from the inside out, leading to pain and fractures. Number 5. Reproductive System Cancers This group includes cancers in the reproductive organs of both men and women. For women, breast cancer is the most common. While often linked to hormones, a small but significant percentage is linked to inherited gene mutations, like BRCA1 and BRCA2, which greatly increase the risk of both breast and ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer begins in the ovaries. Its early symptoms, like bloating, feeling full quickly, and pelvic discomfort, are vague and often dismissed, which is why awareness of these persistent symptoms is so important. Uterine cancer starts in the endometrium, the lining of the uterus. Its most common sign is abnormal bleeding, especially any bleeding after menopause, which should always be checked by a doctor. For men, prostate cancer is the most frequent. It develops in the prostate gland. Because it's often very slow growing, a common approach for older men with low risk tumors is active surveillance, where the cancer is monitored closely without immediate treatment to avoid side effects like incontinence or erectile dysfunction. Testicular cancer is much rarer, but is the most common cancer in young men. It is highly curable, often detected as a painless lump or swelling in a testicle. Number 6. Urinary System Cancers This system filters waste from the blood and removes it from the body. Kidney cancer, also called renal cancer, typically starts in the lining of the tiny tubes within the kidneys. In its early stages, it rarely causes symptoms. As it grows, it might cause blood in the urine, a persistent pain in the side, or a lump in the abdomen. The kidneys are highly vascular, meaning they have a rich blood supply, which unfortunately provides a route for the cancer to spread if not caught early. Bladder cancer begins in the cells lining the inside of the bladder. The most common sign is painless blood in the urine, which gives it a pink, red, or cola color. Other symptoms can include frequent urination, a burning sensation when urinating, or feeling the need to go but not being able to. The chemicals from tobacco smoke are a primary cause, as they are filtered by the kidneys and sit in the bladder, directly damaging the cells of its lining. Number 7. Skin Cancer and Others Skin cancer is the most common of all cancer types. It's overwhelmingly caused by UV radiation. Basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas are highly curable. Melanoma, however, is far more dangerous because it can spread. A simple way to check for potential melanoma is the ABCDE rule for moles, asymmetry, one half doesn't match the other, border irregular or jagged, color uneven shades of brown, black, or even red and blue, diameter larger than a pencil eraser, and evolving, changing in size, shape, or color. Beyond these, Sarcomas are rare cancers of connective tissue. A bone sarcoma, for example, weakens the bone, making it prone to fracture. A soft tissue sarcoma might start in muscle or fat, often appearing as a painless lump that grows over time. We've journeyed across a complex landscape today, but the map is now much clearer. The promise of this video was to demystify the major types of cancer, and now you have a detailed guide. You understand that these diseases are classified by where they begin and how they behave, from the solid tumors in our vital organs to the liquid cancers in our blood. This knowledge doesn't just satisfy curiosity. It builds a framework for understanding health news, medical discussions, and the importance of being proactive about your health. If you found this guide helpful and want to continue learning about the human body with this kind of clarity, please consider subscribing to the channel. We want to create content that matters to you. What specific type of cancer or health topic would you like us to explore in a future deep dive video? Let us know in the comments below. Your suggestions guide our next production. Thank you for investing your time with us. Stay informed, stay proactive, and be well.